Uh, Mr. Dugan, I don't understand over the last several years, we've seen repeated efforts in Democrat-controlled cities and states to effectively decriminalize theft. California, for example, said that any theft under $950 is no longer a felony. And we won't arrest you if you're under that dollar figure. A recent NBC News article stated that both CVS and Walgreens say shoplifting in San Francisco outpaces thefts at their stores across the country. Pretty common sense. If you remove or greatly reduce the penalty for stealing things, theft gets worse. What exactly are the figures for non-employee theft in CVS stores around the country? And in particular, how do the rates of theft differ in jurisdictions with so-called progressive prosecutors who decline to prosecute shoplifting versus uh, jurisdictions where law enforcement is enforcing laws against theft? Well, thank you for that question, uh, Senator. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not going to be able to disclose uh, CVS financial information about losses. But if you allow me I, I, to comment, um, this is not a big city problem, right? Um, decriminalization uh, is contributing to the problem. You're, you're, you're right, sir. Is uh, there more theft in San Francisco than elsewhere? No, sir. There's not? Not rel relative to the amount of stores and market share that we have. It's, it's higher. But so it, NBC News was wrong when they said that? I'm, I can only speak to what I, what I see every day on the ground, Senator, and I, I follow these criminals day to day from state to state and city to city. So I'm CVS sure. would support other jurisdictions legalizing shoplifting up to, up to $950? CVS does not support legalizing shoplifting. Why not? Why not? Why don't we, we're not going to endorse criminal activity. But you're saying it has no effect. I never said it had no effect. You said there's not worse shoplifting in San Francisco. I, I find that, that highly dubious. no effect, Senator. It, 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 does it have an effect or not? Yes, of course it does. What's the effect? The effect is shoplifting is completely different than organized retail crime. Well, if you're talking about shoplifting, that's a whole different dynamic than organized retail crime. And, organized and, retail and so crime, my question is, what's the effect? You, you, you guys have, have the data. You, I'm, I'm sure I understand your question, Senator. Is there an effect? That, do we take losses to shoplifting? Yes, like every other retailer. And, and are they the greater in jurisdictions that effectively legalize it? No, they're not. Uh, what so, so, so then why would you oppose every jurisdiction legalizing shoplifting? I, I, you, you, your questions are not, your answer is not making any sense, sir. Uh, well, I respectfully disagree. I think I'm making perfect sense. What, what I'm saying, Senator, is this crime goes to all 50 states. It's not a big city problem. Absolutely not. So why would you there oppose are, every jurisdiction legalizing okay, shoplifting? Yeah. Sir, why would you oppose every jurisdiction legalizing shoplifting? We're not going to, uh, why are we not going to oppose but why? Legalizing shoplifting? Yes. No, we're not going to do that, Senator. We're not going to endorse criminal activity. But shoplifting is a different dynamic than organized retail crime. And I'm, what I'm here to, to testify about today <laughs> is that organized retail crime All right, that, that, every city, that's, that's really quite including remarkable. Including the major cities in Texas. Uh, that, that, that's, that's really quite remarkable. Um, let me ask a different question, which is you go into to, to great detail about organized criminal organizations, but... I want to point to you to, to something in, in Ms. Camel's testimony, where she cites the work of, of J.P. Kennedy, who's written a lot on the subject of theft. And one scholarly article that Mr. Kennedy wrote, Functional Redundancy in Response to Employee Theft Within Small Businesses, has an interesting paragraph on the second page, which is relevant to this discussion. It says, quote, It has been estimated that employee theft within the United States is 10 times more costly than all forms of traditional street crime and that it cost victimized businesses in the U.S. economy as much as $400 billion a year. Furthermore, employee theft is estimated to cost victimized businesses significantly more than non-employee theft within the same businesses. In your experience, uh, what is the relative magnitude of employee theft versus non-employee theft for retailers? Uh, my scope at CBS, Senator, is to investigate the external part of the theft. I don't have the internal figures necessarily at CVS. Uh, I will say overall, as a president of the Coalition of Law Enforcement and Retail, that internal theft is down. Uh, I could certainly provide you a report to, with those figures attached to it, Senator, if, if you'd like me to. Uh, but my Do you have any judgment as to which is bigger, employee theft or non-employee theft? Well, it's, it's, 
I might be a biased opinion there, Senator, because I'm in the street every day working on organized retail crime. I see the harm that it does every day, why we need this federal legislation. So I, 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 I see it. I sir, see with it all respect, I'd like you to answer my question. Do you have any judgment as to which is bigger, employee theft or non-employee theft? And in particular, Mr. Kennedy says employee theft is 10 times larger. No, I would disagree with that, with that okay. assessment. Do you have any judgment as to which is bigger, employee theft or non-employee theft? Most recently, over the last the spread of this epidemic, I would say non-employee theft. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to thank the um, witnesses for 